Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with another pour. Um, this is a hexagon 12 inch canvas, hexagon. It's a nice gallery wrapped canvas. Um, I've put my Oh, I put my tape on the bottom to keep keep it nice and clean and I put my giant push pins in. I'm actually missing the push pin, aren't I? There's my other push pin. I should have had one here and one there. Anyway, I will just whack one in quickly. Maybe, um, yeah, I'll just need another one in up there. So that's all I do is whack them in and then you wiggle them out so i'm just going to put one in on each that's it all done that's done so it's all prepared so it should keep nice and clean on the bottom and then it's on those push pins so it's nice and easy to uh you know tilt around if you need to so that's a nice canvas and I'm going to um, yeah, do a mixture of techniques in this one again. So I'm gonna just start with the white. This is just the acrylic. This one is just the global acrylic mixed with my pouring medium, which is the clear glue and um, water. I've got the pouring medium recipe there, so I won't bore you with those details because that's all there in the description box below this um, video. So let's quickly go over this. All of my canvases come triple guess gessoed, gessoed or whatever you call it. Gesso I think. Gesso. I'm going to um, just do my edges with my fingers, you can absolutely do that. There's no rules against doing it. Remember, it's your art room your or your art kitchen or your art table or whatever. So it's your rules, your way. And that's it, there are no rules. So that's what's nice about it. You can just merrily go along doing exactly as you please and not be worried that you're breaking any rules because there isn't any in this art form at all. And you just learn as you go along as well with a lot of things like a lot of things that may work for other people that may not work for you so um, don't get stressed out about it just uh, change things and see what works for you because for whatever reason you can be using the same recipe as someone else and it still not work so you just adjust it to what works for you it can even be your particular water that you might be putting in if it's got additives in your water like fluoride or chlorine or anything or slight yeah just slight differences so no stress this is a no stress zone so i'm going to just this is just some um cyan blue with a good dash of um did it have in it the uh, dragonfly glaze just to give it a bit of a bit of oh a bit of a uh, glittery type just you know a shimmer should i say and this was a it's called what is it called harbour night it's like a navy so i just want those colors up there i'm just going to put a squirt of my green this was some green that I've mixed up it was the um the cool green or deep green and I had mixed it with a bit of silver to give again to give it a bit of um, bit of uh, you know shimmer shimmer in my paint so so now I want to just blow this so this is what I'm loving about this background that I'm doing is it's just setting up for the piece that I'm going to do on it. So this is just the background I'm working on.
didn't really want much um, cells in this at all. <laughs> I mean, there's no silicone in this, but there's Floetrol and look at all the cells. It's kind of looking like an ice scene already, but that's not what I'm going for. So I'll just continue to work with it. See where we go. Um, this one, rightio. Let's see if I can work this out. What I want to do with this is, 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 just thinking now. Um, I've thought about it and I'm going to actually do a composition that goes that way. So we're going to give this a go. I might start. Here. So this is fluoro orange. I'm really, um, you know, aiming to pop your socks type thing in this. And this is, is it, one's cool red and one's a warm red, and I never forget. This is warm red. So this is more like an orange as well. So I'm going to add a little bit of yellow in there. And I will go the purple. Oh, I don't know. Don't know. No, 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 no. I won't put that. I won't put that. I might go the um, cyan blue, a little bit of cyan blue in there. i put in more there. And then I'm just gonna go that real berry delicious. We'll see how that turns out. Rightio, I'm gonna add a little bit of white. And then I'm going to use my little bit of um, magic, I call it, which is the, um, it's just Amsterdam white. I got this one from Capriol Creative, the link's in the bottom, and I got an Aussie flow troll. It just is an excellent um, cell activator. So let's see. Might just give this a tilt either way. A bit of an odd composition, I'm sure you're thinking. But if <laughs> what I have in my head comes out, it shouldn't be too bad. Um, let's give it a go. Okay, let's see if I can find, I've got a plastic sheet that, oh, that one might do. This is just the soft plastic file divider. So I'm going to take it over the top of the Amsterdam and my flow troll. And let's hope this works. Oh, I'm not sure if you can see these cells that have just popped up like crazy in this. It's so lovely. Really, really nice. It's gone crazy. City. I'm not sure now. Oh yeah, I might have to stop and have a think about this one. The cells are gorgeous, everything's gorgeous, but what I had in mind always goes off on a tangent. I always change my mind. 
So let me see. I was gonna use some balloon. But I'm not sure. I'm not sure. To be sure, to be sure. Maybe I'll use it at the top. Know, people get shocked now when I don't use the balloon it's like no balloon oh yeah see because all the color is only in this bits in the center it's coming out a lot um, sort of softer my balloony work so I just want to Keep it looking like, kind of looking like the top of a tree <laughs> with my, um, there's the tree uh, trunk and the pretty flowers at the top. Um, but I'm not sure I'm gonna have enough color to, I don't wanna go over my tree trunk again. So I might leave that like that. Trying to yeah, make this my tree trunk and this my my colour bits. I can always put like a little bit of extra colouring so I can use I can use the um balloon uh, kiss the balloon in these colourful bits. just noticed or oh, I'm not gonna say anything unless you notice <laughs> so I'm not gonna say nothing okay oh, silly jilly just working it working it working it um, more of that just red doesn't matter if I overdo some of these wiggly bits see what I can get out of that with the balloon if I can get anything I just might try a smaller balloon it's one that's got it's one that's gone down so I'll just see if I can get any nice effects oh yes oh yes You've probably noticed where I've done completely off track, but I will tell you at the end if you don't notice it now. Um, oh, I am a silly jilly, silly jilly. This is my trunk. Try and work it your way to see you're looking at it as though this is the trunk and this is the, the lovely colourful flowered top. It's pretty. What, what do I want to know? Oh dear, now I'm going to hopefully not get duck with this um, I love to do and many of you seen me do this kind of effect where I looking things down here lay some feet <laughs> oh dear that is, um... so 
and using my balloon as my art tool. It's kind of um, a very thick tree base <laughs> to say the least. <laughs> I'll try and use some of the colour. Oh, a lot of planes going over today, considering that there's not much supposed to be flying at the moment. It's quite weird. Okay. That look weird or does that look weird? <laughs> I could have done the trunk a lot thinner, I think, but you kind of get the gist, I'm pretty sure. Just, I don't know whether to take the balloon through it, would that be too thick? Maybe a fine piece of um, card, maybe. Taking a fine piece just to do that. Be better off to wait for it to dry off a bit. Um, need to soften this bit up a bit here. But okay, can you see where I've gone completely off tether? I was, in my mind, I was to have the green at the bottom representing where the uh, balloon kisses, the flowers would go and the blue up the top. Um, yeah, I've done it the other way around, but it is what it is. It's abstract. So you either love it or hate it. But it was something that I had in my mind. I woke up and thought about it on this particular canvas and I just had to do it. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna go away, have a cup of coffee and I kinda have a little think about this one um, and see whether I like it. And if not, I might come back and fiddle with it, but you will see the end photos, how it turns out. So I'm kind of hoping, um, yeah, it was, it was a, you know, it's a, a bloom tree, a little bit different than the other tree swipes that I've done before. So, um, yes, I've got another idea in my head now. So I might go and have my cup of coffee, come back and try another idea that I have. But I hope you enjoyed my my um, rambling, but I could have done a few things differently. And if you're gonna give it a go yourself, then you certainly could uh, do things differently. I've got it, the composition is wacko, but that's what I, I don't like things central and correct and in law, I'm not that kind of person. Um, so to me, it's better to look like that, but I know the people that suffer with OCD, um, it might affect them. <laughs> Okie doke. I will say bye for now. Please let me know what you think and the dry um, results will be at the end of this video. So until tomorrow, my sweet people, please take care. Take care of yourself and your mental health. Get out in the open. Go hug a tree. Go hug a tree. That's what my suggestion. This is what this piece is telling me. Go hug a tree. All right, my lovelies, I will see you all tomorrow. So thanks for joining me and bye for now.